Good talk, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'll put the lights on. Oh, that's not a code either. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> got to laugh, have not you? Uh, <coughs> yeah, so got a bit, bit of daylight. This is how still. Like, the time now is um about ten to four in the afternoon. It's almost like dark. Yeah. Um, I got a. It's a, 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 um. There wasn't gonna be a, a dash cam footage because it's all uh waterlogged. Cause it's been raining for. Well, I can't remember the last time. I, I can't remember the last day. It hasn't been raining, so um, it's been raining for a while. The rivers are quite high, um, so you're gonna get fields full of water. So it's gonna be. It was gonna be dash cam footage, uh, but it's gonna be about domain names, yeah. Because <coughs> you could almost now. I'm not saying this is the case, <coughs> but um, don't take my word for it. I know nothing. Remember. If you're old enough, yeah, you know, you know um, where that comes from, which uh, series it comes from, many, many years ago, um, when when there was only four TV channels. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, domain names. This week, there's been a domain name sold for six hundred thousand US dollars, which is four hundred fifty thousand quid. You see. Well, because I look at the, the, the it's, it appears on the dnjournal.com, and you go to the, the left-hand side at the top, the top of the page, and the second tab down is uh, domain sales. You click on that, and it will show you what was sold last week. Just been updated on Thursday, uh, Thursday morning, so it's still newish, and and you'll see what it was, yeah, for uh, the dot com. Text messages. So um, but. I waffle on about, yeah, this is sold for that, and that's sold for this, yeah. And people look at me like, gone out, and think, what on earth is he on about, right, yeah? But unless people see, I can give you, like, if you look at domain domainlaw.uk, the UK auction website address for, um, that sells .co.uk and .uk websites, uh, addresses, just the, the addresses only, the domain names only. And you look at the right, look at that page there, on domainlaw.uk, on the right hand side you'll see previous sales and the sales prices of .co.uk and .uk website addresses. I can't I'm, I can only tell people uh, where um, what's been sold and what it's sold for I can't make people and I'm not I, I, I've got no intention of doing so it, but we're in the digital era Facebook and Google have been in that era for uh, Facebook has been in, in the digital era for 15 years, and Google has been in it for 22 years, right? Yeah. So they're having a even the countries are having problems with Facebook and Google because they haven't got this digital mindset. I I I mean, it's weird me living in a, a, dig, a digital mindset, tech venture, living in traditional mindset with the high street and all that, yeah. The reason why the high street went pear-shaped is because they don't understand domain names, which are central to the internet. Without domain names, there is no internet. That was said by a, a broker. I can't, um, you know, yeah. <coughs> uh, credit it to um, Andrew Rosner. But who said that? But it's right. You, it's just a, a page of A4 paper. The main, the internet is on the left-hand side. And domains are on the right. Unless Facebook renews its Facebook.com and YouTube pays its uh, renewal fee for YouTube.com and Google pays it for Google.com, you don't have any SEO organic listings or pay per click or anything yet, or a YouTube account or Facebook Messenger or uh, Apple.com, whatever. Yeah, they don't have um, they wouldn't have App Store and all that. Oh, the whole lot is based on the fact that. Unless they renew their domain names every single year, they don't have Apple.com, Google.com, Facebook.com, YouTube.com, Amazon.com, etc., etc. Domains are pivotal to the internet, and I waffle on about them because I'm I'm in this like domain name world. It, no one understands. Banks haven't got a blooming haven't got a clue. 
we're only six months away from Libra, a year from Libra coin, and uh, they have just to have not got a clue. So you can go in and this again, try it for yourself. Ask the banks, do you accept a Libra coin? Can you pay your Visa card off with Libra coin? What is Libra coin? <laughs> Facebook's Libra coin. <laughs> It's not going to take Facebook's Libra coin 12 years like it has Bitcoin to get established. Um, it's going to take Facebook's Libra coin about a year max, tops. And it'll be everywhere. 2.3 billion people using Libra coin on Facebook, Amazon, and Google. And the banks haven't got a clue it even exists. And that's where we are. Can I buy this house with Libra coin? What's Libra coin? Hmm. <laughs> that's where we are so I, I tell you these website addresses like DN Journal for domain names you can see the prices they go for in January GoDaddy's auction which uh, conference domain GoDaddy's domain name conference which is Namescon which is being held in Austin Texas uh, is selling crisps.com crisps.com laptop.com and they're only going to be used as re redirects. If, if Walmart is in for these, and it, and it probably will be, because they sell crisps and they sell laptops, all they would use it is for is a redirect into as into Walmart. They just use it, so people type in laptops into Google, crisps into Google, when it goes straight, they click on crisps, and it'll appear within the top heading. Will here will it will redirect to Walmart.com. That's what it, that's where they're buying them. So they're going to pay millions for that, a million pound a piece, easy. I'd, I'd have thought. And it just redirects into Walmart. If they, if Walmart are bidding for them, which I presume they will be, because it's an, it's the it's the global the global domain name conference in Austin, Texas, in January the 13th, January the 30th, 2020 is when the auction is. But you can see the the, the auction listings on GoDaddy auctions now, or right of the dot r o t d dot com, is where you actually enter. So there's people now that can buy they can buy a website address for 10 quid, 15, 20 quid. If you, don't, if you know what you're looking for, it's good. And list it on right at the dot to be sold at the global auction on January 30th, on 30th in the next year. And you, what will it sell for? It might, it'll make probably more than 20 quid. That's where we are. We're living in digital world, digital era. No one understands it. But I bought early on in GTLDs. No one's got a clue about GTLDs. But I, <laughs> I picked some proper peaches out <laughs> for ten, fifteen pounds, and no one's got a clue that they exist. They've only been about for five years. It's just like pure gold sitting in GoDaddy search engine. Pure gold. You just got to type it in. Guess, click, buy, sell, quits in. That's where we are. That's the joys of domain names. So you need to be looking at, if you're looking to, into domain names, GoDaddy Auctions, cedo, s e d o dot com, uniregistry.com. Um, have a look at brandbucket.com and see what they're going for. <laughs> That's the, they go for quite big prices. Click on namebio.com, click extension, type in ll.com or nn.com, press search, and enjoy, see the prices they go for. Or, ask Google, hello Google, what is the most expensive domain names in the world? And Google will tell you. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.